So many people have been working hard to land this deal, and one of them is joining us now. Onondaga County Executive Ryan McMahon, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a great day. Um, it, it is, but Ryan, how does something like this happen? I mean, pull the curtain back a little bit because I am sure that there are many communities around this country uh, who wanted Micron, and we got them. How do you do yeah, it? And, and uh, it, it's the, it was what we said the greatest site selection process in the history of the country. We've been going through this behind the scenes with other companies, other mega projects, Intel, TSMC, Samsung. We spoke to all of them. Um, but first off, you need to cite that works mm -hmm. and you need a site that has the utilities meaning the water the wastewater capacity mm -hmm. uh, the electric and gas and not many sites do this is a mega project this is over a billion dollar project a thousand jobs to have a mega site you need a, a, a site that's over a thousand acres and strategically we learned that in 2019 uh -huh. and we started making our site which was 300 acres at the time that had all those unique attributes to it and we made it bigger and now we're a 1400 acre site that's been specified for micron um, but we've been competing and they look at your community mm -hmm. they look at the ability to draw a workforce, retain workforce, where is everybody going to live? Where is everybody going to work and play? What's my 25-year-old employee going to do? What's my 35-year-old, my 55-year-old employee going to do? Um, we've been tested as a community. Then when you check all those boxes, uh, then it goes to incentives. And it goes, how do you compete with other states? How do you compete with other localities? Your cost of wastewater, your cost of water, your cost of electricity. Um, and that's a competition. And so that's where the state uh, came in and with uh, where we had a, a cost gap because our prevailing wage costs for construction are higher here than mm -hmm. Texas, um, green ships came in to, to play and that helped level that playing field. So when the states are at a level playing field, uh, you got to make sure that they want to make the investment here in the United States. Mm -hmm. And that's where the CHIPS Act came in with Senator Schumer. Uh, Congressman Katko voted for that as well. Um, but Senator Schumer uh, moved heaven and earth to get the investment tax credit in that yeah. legislation. And for Micron, that was very important. Micron was not going to do this project in the U.S. without that. Mm -hmm. He got that done. So that boomeranged it back to us. Um, and I always said, if it's about our site, the county-owned site at White Pine, uh, and it's about our community, for we can tell our comeback story about what's been happening here over the last five years, that we'll win. Uh, and that's what happened. And, you know, there are a lot of Downing Thomases out <laughs> sure, there, of course. Sure, I know course. Well, yeah. Yes, we, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you do. We hear from them as well. How final is this project, and what needs to happen now? Yeah, so this project's final, um, and, and everything's been signed. Um, uh, there are a, a broad-based incentive package that is based off of performance um, and the jobs being created. Uh, 2023 is going to be about getting the site prepared now that we know the specifics of Micron's deal. We'll finish up our environmental review. Uh, we'll put forward our wetland mitigation plan. Mm -hmm. We'll get our air permits ready. Uh, then we'll start clearing the site uh, and some uh, early phase construction will happen in 2023. Huh? But that first wave of jobs, 5,000 construction jobs, uh, local labor, project labor agreement, uh, union jobs, non-union jobs, um, that's going to happen at the end of 2023 going into 2024. Um, and we will have thousands of workers coming mm -hmm. in because it'll be hard to fill those jobs. Right. So we'll, we'll be hosting uh, members uh, from around the Northeast, around the country here, and these folks are going to need places to live. They're going to be bringing all their buying power with them. Uh, you're going to see lots of different residential and commercial development around this. Um, and you're going to see a lot of uh, the, at the same time, this is happening just on the Micron opportunity. Remember, we're talking to all their tier one supply chain companies mm. right now. Everybody that makes that, that Micron needs their, their materials to make their product, they are coming here too. And then their supply chain is going to come. So we're focused in on executing Micron, uh, at the same time talking about all these other companies that are going to come and call Central New York home. How, how far reaching is this? Because obviously from what you've just talked about, it's not just about Clay or Onondaga County. I mean, it's it's the area, it's the region, right? Yeah. I mean, you can't all live in Clay and work and play in Clay. Yeah, we'll, our county will see tremendous population mm -hmm. growth, but so will Oswego County, and Madison County, yeah. Cortland, Cayuga, other counties. Um, th this is our region's uh, and, and arguably upstate New York's Erie Canal moment for our generation. Mm -hmm. And we need to think of it that way uh, because we need to seize the moment and we need to make sure that this transformational project hits every corner of our community, our urban communities, our suburban, our rural communities, um, and that people believe in this and believe in themselves again. Uh, because like I said earlier today, uh, the greatest company of memory technology in the world is making their largest investment in their company's history 
here in Onondaga County. Yeah. They're making their biggest bet they've ever made in their history on us, on our people. And that validates our community, it validates our values, and most importantly, it validates our people. And our people need to uh, get the old chip off our shoulder that we've mm -hmm. had on for three mm -hmm. decades. Uh, it's a new day. The future of this country uh, is right here in Onondaga County. All right, we've got about a minute left. Um, this is making national news, as you know. How much of a signal do you think this is to other companies about Central New York? Big time. Uh, I think if you look at what we've seen um, with uh, partnerships with Microsoft, Amazon, JMA Wireless being the 5G tech hub of the country right now, and now Micron's investment here, the largest investment in the history of the country, um, we are really uh, the hub. Uh, for uh, memory semiconductor manufacturing now. Um, we'll see the supply chains there. I think other upstate communities will probably see semiconductor companies looking at them. Mm. Um, whether we get one, probably not, because we got, we got, the, yeah. the, we we got, got the big one, right? Yeah. Um, but we'll get all the big supply chain companies yeah. here. Um, so, uh, but I think what will happen is other industries will, will have more success actually in recruiting talent mm -hmm. and that will help us when they have their next growth opportunity to keep that growth here in Onondaga County. It's, it's an amazing day. We could talk to you for a long time about this. There's a lot more to come. We're not going to squeeze it all in today, so we're going we're gonna to talk to you again really soon. But uh, congratulations to you and everybody that, that worked on this project. I know you all worked really hard behind the scenes for a long, long time to get this thing done, and it is done. Right. And it's Mike done. Brown, about to become a household name yep. in central New York. It, it's, yeah. it's a great day. Yeah. All right. Ryan McMahon, Thank you. congratulations. Thank you. And